In real space, the Wigner C cell is a region that is closer to one lattice point than to any other. In reciprocal space, we apply exactly the same construction, but now to the reciprocal lattice, and the result is called the first billowing zone. It represents the fundamental region that contains all unique wave vectors or K points for electron and phonon behavior in a crystal. Each point inside the zone corresponds to a possible electron momentum state. The boundaries of the zone play a crucial role in band formation because wave interference at those boundaries opens up energy gaps. So the Brillouin zone forms the foundation of electronic band structure, linking the geometry of the lattice to the quantum states of electrons. Now that we understand what a Brillouin zone represents, let us look at how its shape depends on the type of crystal structure. Remember, the Brillouin zone is constructed in reciprocal space, so its geometry depends on the reciprocal lattice, not the real one. For a simple cubic lattice, the reciprocal lattice is also simple cubic, so the first Brillouin zone is cubic. For a body central cubic or BCC, real lattice, the reciprocal lattice becomes face center cubic and its Brillouin zone takes the shape of a rhombic dodecahedron which has 12 rhombic faces and is one of the most symmetric polyhedra in crystallography. Conversely, for a face central cubic or XCC real lattice, the reciprocal lattice is a body center cubic whose Brillouin zone is truncated octahedra, composed of 14 faces, 8 regular hexagons and 6 squares. Finally, for hexagonal close packed, the reciprocal lattice is also hexagonal, giving a hexagonal prism Brillouin zone. Each of these shapes defines the unique set of allowed k-vectors for electrons or phonons motion in the crystal.